Hello fellow woodworkers and welcome to this week's edition of the Garage Workshop 10 minute tool review. We've got another Parkside tool this week and it is this, the curious cordless angle drill. Let's see what it's like. Roll the intro. Okay, so uh, this is a new product, I think, in the Parkside range. I've not seen it before, and I've had a few occasions, I'm sure many of you have, when you've been doing woodworking projects where you've wanted to get a drill in uh, to a smaller gap or a gap where there's, you know, very tight access and you haven't been able to do it. So I saw this product in the uh, Best Buy, Middle of Lidl buys this week. Um, this was filmed on the 20... Uh, 5th, I think 26th of March, and it's currently in the range now. And it's in their Parkside X 12 volt uh, battery uh, range. So I've got quite a few Parkside tools. Um, I did a video earlier in the year. Uh, here's a link to it on a Parkside tool haul. And I've got quite a, a few of the um, Parkside X range. They're really, really good tools. Batteries are super cheap, really good batteries as well. So it's in that range. Um, this is just the bare unit. It doesn't come with the battery and the charger. So if you are um, buying the buying this unit, you'll need to buy the battery and charger unless you've already got it. I think I'm right in saying, I think this was either $14.99 or $19.99. I'll put the price on the screen. But it's just one of those things where I thought, oh, you know, will this actually uh, be any good? So it says on the box... It's got 11 Nm, whatever that is, uh, in torque. It's got uh, angles, adjustable angles, obviously zero, 22 and a half, 45, 67 and a half, and uh, 90. It's got a maximum chuck capacity of 10 mil and a maximum drilling uh, diameter, obviously, of 10 mil. And it says a maximum screw diameter of six mil. So it should be okay uh, for the job. So let's have a open it up and have a look and see what's actually inside the box. Okay, so as is common uh, with Parkside uh, products, the uh, first thing that it's got is obviously the paper um, sleeve. I know some people keep these. I never do. I can't see the point uh, myself. But you can see, um, hopefully you can see there, uh, a bit more of a close-up of what it can do. And obviously it shows. It also says it's got um, an integrated LED uh, work light. And again, it's just showing there's uh, no battery in it. There's actually two types of battery for this device. And I'll, I'll show you that when we open it up. As is common, um, you've seen me mention this in another video. I think it was for the hot glue gun where I didn't actually get one of these gorgeous plastic uh, Parkside cases, but I do like these. I've got a few, they're just cheaply manufactured. No one's saying that they're not, but in, in terms of a range, they're quite nice. It's not quite what you get with a Festool, not that I've got a Festool, but I can't imagine it's anything as posh as this. Um, so let's open it up and have a look at what's inside. Again, I'm expecting a very basic uh, unit, but being Parkside, I would expect it to be uh, fairly good quality and wow that really is uh, basic so uh, there is the uh, actual uh, drilling uh, unit as you can see we'll have a proper look at that in a minute obviously it's got the case and it's got the standard set of Parkside uh, instructions and that ladies and gentlemen uh, really is it so the instructions, I'm going to say it's pretty uh, straightforward. It just talks a little bit about the battery charger there. I don't know why it does that. You don't get the battery charger with it. Um, but it looks very, very basic. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a cordless drill. You know, how difficult can it be? But let's have a look at the actual unit uh, up close. Um, I'm going to say straight off the bat, it's really very substantial. It's very heavy. Um, and it's the it's a very similar design to a lot of Parkside tools. I've got their um, their sort of reciprocating uh, saw, which is very similar. And I've also got a couple of other tools that feel very similar to this. In the same, they're built in the same sort of style, same long, sleek body, a combination of quite um, quite hard plastic and uh, rubber. Now, I can already see at the top, uh, that's the angle, that's how you lock 
uh, the angles in. I presume you push that button down. Yeah. And then you can change it and you can hear it clicks in when it gets to the correct angle. So that's going to be uh, the 90 degree angle, obviously. Uh, sorry, the uh, flat angle, the zero degree. And obviously it goes all the way uh, to 90 degree. In terms of the chuck, it is a, a keyless chuck. It's just a sort of screw and unscrew. Uh, it's got dual power buttons by the look of it and oh it's got a I don't know if you can see that it's got a little picture there um, which explains to you that you've got to read the instructions uh, before you use the tool so that looks like um, a very standard power button and it also looks like it's got a power grip as well which I think would be really handy because perhaps when you can't get your hand in somewhere uh, you can get your hand easily onto that grip at the bottom. Like I said, very weighty, very sturdy. So uh, let's put a battery on it and give it the much, much, much lauded uh, tool review sound check. Let's do that now. Okay, so I've got it set up uh, now, um, the sound meter, and I'm just going to put, I'll put the smaller battery in uh, first and let's just see uh, how loud it gets. I'll just wait for the sound meter to settle down. Again, I should have said, sorry, it's 10 centimetres away. Okay, at its highest, it got to uh, 66 decibels, which it says on the sound meter is basically a loud uh, conversation, which isn't much. So, not a very loud tool, and as you could hear, um, fairly quiet. I have to say, when I was holding on to it, though, it felt pretty powerful. So, let's put it through its paces and just drill in some wood and see what it's like. Okay, so as I've mentioned before in some of my other 10-minute tool reviews, um, Parkside has what is called the uh, Parkside X Team. Um, it's just their basically their brand name for their uh, set of batteries. Now, um, all of the major brands, DeWalt, Makita, uh, Bosch, Festool, they all have their own branded uh, battery packs which work with their tools. Now, the unique thing about the Parkside ones, well, I think it's unique, is A, um, the shape is quite unusual. This is their um, standard 12 volt uh, X battery. I'm convinced inside it there are just three big uh, lithium batteries, but these units are very cheap. You can pick them up, I think, when the, the last time, obviously before we had all the shortages and the fact that the price of everything has gone through the roof. I think I was picking these up for about six ninety nine uh, before. Now, apart from this battery, which is perfectly good, I've had it in my um, screwdriver, which um, is flawless, really. Uh, they last for quite a long time. I think, you know, with sort of quite heavy use, you get about an hour out of these. So they're a pretty good battery just on their own. But Parkside also do an upgrade uh, to that battery, and it is uh, this one, which as you can as you can see, uh, looks very similar, but has a much, much bigger uh, battery capacity on the bottom of it. And the difference between the two, I think this one is a four uh, amp battery, and this one isn't. But the difference between the two is quite significant. This does last for a lot longer. So if you are going to invest in any of the Parkside tools, whether you're going to go for this, the angle drill or anything else, it might be worth investing in at least a couple of the batteries because although they last about an hour or so, you know, if you're on a site or if you're doing a lot of work, an hour's not all the time. I mean, for me, it's fine because I've got three or four of these. So I just always have one permanently on charge. Or if I'm doing a longer job, I go for this battery. So just a little bit of a brief understanding of the Parkside X team and how the different batteries work. So let's put a battery in and run it through its paces. Okay, so I've got the drill and I'm just gonna load it with a standard um, six mil uh, drill bit. It's basic way that you would load uh, any drill bit. It's got a an auto locking sort of chuck as it were. And obviously it's got the button, direction button, 
on the side to either go in clockwise or anti-clockwise because it's not just a drill it's also a screwdriver so let's give it a go and see how it goes on the wood i've just got a standard piece of c16 timber here Okay, so um, as you can see, it went through really, uh, really nicely. Um, hopefully you can see the hole there. What I'm going to say straight away, though, is uh, it did feel very, very underpowered. It, it felt like it took a bit of a go to get through that. Um, let's try a bigger uh, drill bit and see if that makes any difference. And again, I'm just using a stand, it feels like it's a Parkside channel this. I'm just using these um, Parkside uh, drill bits because I actually find them really, really good uh, quality. And I know you can spend a lot of money on drill bits, but these were quite cheap and they tend to last. So I'm now going to try uh, a 10 mil drill bit, which it says is uh, the biggest size that it can take. So let's get the chuck all the way open. Right, it is in, but <laughs> that took a bit of going. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so as you can see, um, that is literally just burning a hole in the wood uh, now. It doesn't seem like it's got enough oomph uh, to get all the way through. So... No, I'm not going to try any further. It just really doesn't want... I don't know if there's a knot in the middle of the wood there, but that just does not want to go any further. It's only about halfway uh, through. I did think it might struggle um, with the bigger drill bit. And obviously, it's not a power drill. That That's not the point of it. The point of it is to get into hard-to-reach places. So let's try that out now and see how it works when it's between two pieces of wood. Okay, so what I've set up here, um, I've just clamped two pieces of wood to the desk and I've just sort of created um, an example of where you might um, use a drill like this. As you can see on its own, the drill isn't big enough uh, to get in the gap. So if we adjust the angle and go for 45, which is exactly halfway, let's see how that goes. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it didn't have any problem uh, going through that at all. And it had it on a 45 degree angle, uh, which is really good. So if I did need to, let's say I was reinforcing something, um, it worked really, really well for that. Um, in terms of where, how it would go, if I had it completely flat, like uh, so, it would be very similar to a normal uh, drill. The difference being, of course, that with a normal drill, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get it in. So let's just widen this and see how it drills on an angle. Let's get the clamps there. Okay, so it got through that okay, uh, no problems at all. Let's just give it a try with the different Parkside battery and see if that makes any difference. I'm suspecting it won't, but let's see anyway.
Okay, I'm not sure if you could uh, pick it up on the camera there, but um, it was a lot better. Now, this battery has been charged, fully charged, before I did the test. So it's not that the battery had less power in it, but obviously the bigger power battery produced more torque when I was drilling. Um, I'll check the time to see. It definitely felt quicker, but it felt a lot more powerful in my hand with a more powerful battery on it. So we've given it a little bit of a test through. Now I'll give you my thoughts on whether I think it's a good investment or not. Okay, so what are my uh, thoughts on the Parkside cordless angle drill? Well, let's go for the things I like. Uh, number one, it does feel very sturdily built. Uh, the plastic seems quite high grade, um, as it does with a lot of Parkside products. It's nice and weighty, and I really think there's it's been really nicely designed and really nicely made. I like the uh, adjustability on the top. I think the angles that they give you, the four angles, are probably the most common angles that you're likely to get. So they're all plus points. I like having the LED uh, light on the top. I think that makes a difference, particularly if you think about where this is going to be used. It's going to be used in hard to reach spaces, potentially where you're not going to have a lot of available light necessarily. And also, this isn't just a drill. I've used it as a drill today, but if you just put a driver in there, you've got a, a, a drill that you can use in lots of different positions. And let's face it, it's probably going to get way more use from me as a screwdriver than it will as a, will as a drill. So they're the plus points. Um, I also like the grip. It's really handy. It's very easy to adjust the torque in it by just gently press. It's very, very sensitive. And of course, it's got the uh, Parkside um, look battery indicator lights on it so it tells you how flat the battery is getting so a lot of plus points for it a lot of things I like about it what do I not like about it now unfortunately the thing I don't like about it I think is going to be the most prohibiting factor it does feel quite underpowered. I would say it's no more powerful than my little Parkside sort of drill uh, driver which is fine, but the difference with that is you can get some weight behind it when you're drilling into things. And by the nature of this, you're not going to be able to do that. So it does feel underpowered. And you saw in the test when I had the 10 mil drill bit in, it really struggled. And in fact, didn't get all the way through that piece of wood. So 10 mil is quite a big bore, though, to be uh, fair, but a little bit underpowered. Am I going to use it? Yes, of course I'm going to use it. Am I going to use it as a cordless drill? To be honest with you, I don't think I will. I see this perhaps more as a cordless drill driver or cordless screwdriver than a cordless drill. But there will be an occasion where I think, oh, I'd just like to put an extra screw in there or when I'm bracing something in a hard to reach place and the drill is going to be perfect for that. If I'd have spent 20, 30 pounds on it, then perhaps I might be thinking, oh, you know what, it's not worth the money. But for the money, I think it was 19.99, I'll put the price here, for the money and for what it is, I think it's a useful addition, but again, more as a screwdriver, I would say, than as a drill. Thank you so, what, so much for watching me, uh, fellow woodworkers, on this week's edition of the 10 Minute Tool Review. I know there's been a lot of Parkside uh, products on this channel, but particularly for this channel, I think, like me, many of you are beginning woodworkers, starting woodworkers, and you haven't got a fortune to spend on tool, which is tools, which is why I think these reviews are so important. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, like, and comment. If you're a regular viewer, thank you so much for your support. At the time of making this video, I think we're up to 337 uh, subscribers, which is absolutely brilliant. And also don't forget to like and comment. And I'll see you on next week's edition of the Garage Workshop. Take care, fellow woodworkers.